And so this represents the splitting of Korea into north and south. And they're trying to push it back together again. What's your name? Lina. Lina? Yeah. Okay, cool. She's the uh, tour guide and we're going to uh, pick up a bunch more people. So uh, this is going to be a very fascinating day. Super Viking. And so we're changing to another bus, uh, like the DMZ tour bus. Here, we are very close to North Korea now. And it is a hot day. She said it was going to be 34 degrees Celsius today. Seoul City Tour. So we have a, a little break here. before getting on the uh, bus to get closer to the DMZ. 
Here we have some distances to various places. Germany, 8,106 kilometers. Pyongyang, 153 kilometers, capital of North Korea. New Zealand, 10,034. Australia, 8,424 kilometers. Turkey, 7,725. Uzbekistan, 4,862. Thailand, 3,724. As the abbreviation for Demilitarized Zone, DMZ indicates a belt that is unarmed militarily, a uh, strip of land between North and South Korea that uh, nobody lives there, I guess. This DMZ is a neutral area that secures some geographic gap between the opposite sides so that those sides can be protected from direct conflicts since their ceasefire agreement. Here at the DMZ Info Center, and so here it is, northern limit line, southern limit line, and so this would be South Korea and North Korea. And this is the DMZ. After 36 years of Japanese colonial era rule, our country was liberated on August 15, 1945, thanks to the sacrifices of service personnel who fought for the nation's independence and for an end to the Second World War. Before celebration could break out, however, Korea was arbitrarily divided into North and South according to a unilateral decision on the part of larger powers, regardless of the desire of our people. Korea, which had been a unified nation for thousands of years, was faced with the division of Korea into North and South. And so that was in 1945, not at the end of the Korean War. Mangbaidan is a permanent altar established by the government at a cost of 500 million won. And up ahead here is Freedom Bridge. Standing behind Mangbaidan Memorial Altar at Imjingak Square, Freedom Bridge takes its name from the return of 12,773 prisoners of war in 1953 in the first exchange of prisoners after the signing of the Armistice Agreement that ended the Korean War. Two railroad bridges on the Gyeonggu Line originally spanned the Imjingang River side by side. Both were destroyed by bombing. Only the piers remained. This steam locomotive is a symbol of the tragic history of the division into North and South Korea, having been left in the DMZ since it got derailed by bombs during the Korean War. And this bridge ends here, a memorial wall it looks like, unified North and South Korea. That's where I'm going tomorrow, Jeju Island. And now time to uh, get back to the uh, rest of the group and get on the bus to go see another um, area of the DMZ zone. I'm not sure exactly what, we will be finding out soon. 
technology and founder of Hyundai was actually from Korea. And so we are crossing the Imjin River and that's how the Imjingak Park got its name. 우리는 통일대교를 건너면서 임진강을 건너고 있습니다. Question. How many roads lead to North Korea? Good question. Right now, only one road is connected to North Korea. Uh, they were going to make another road, but uh, it sort of stopped. Uh, the project uh, stopped in between. And so only uh, national road number one is connected with the North, North Korean roads. End of separation, beginning of unification. This is a viewpoint from which we will be able to see the DMZ, which is several miles wide, and then North Korea is on the other side, of course. And they have two propaganda villages, one for North Korea, one for South Korea, basically fake towns demonstrating their modern technological uh, power. And so we're seeing the whole DMZ and then North and then North Korea as well, yeah, beyond the DMZ. Right, yes, right, okay. Right, yeah. And you said there's a statue of Kim Jong-un? Yeah, eight. Uh, nine, nine. Nine, nine. Kim out there. Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il. Yeah. And so that is the DMZ. And then North Korea beyond it there, those hills and towns. Got my DMZ t-shirt. And so the most interesting thing of the whole tour was inside there, but we couldn't film. We went down into a tunnel down below there. I will uh, talk about that a little bit later when I get the chance. Now we're going to watch a little uh, like 10 minute uh, movie about the DMZ. And so this represents the splitting of Korea into North and South. And they're trying to push it back together again. And so what uh, was being explained in that movie there was that North Korea invaded South Korea in 1950. They had already been separated after World War II, but uh, North Korea tried to invade South Korea and that started the Korean War, which lasted for three years until uh, 1953. And then the tunnel that we visited inside there was the third tunnel that was mentioned in that movie. They've discovered four tunnels so far created by the North Koreans trying to invade South Korea once again underground. That one was discovered in 1978 and one was discovered in 1990 and uh, two others uh, before that. And so they were trying to do a underground invasion there. It was really fascinating to go uh, underneath there. It is 
more than a kilometer long, I think 1.6 kilometers long. Part of it is on the uh, North Korean side of the DMZ, part of it is on the South Korean side of the DMZ. And so we went down a uh, long tunnel, not the tunnel that was created by North Korea, but a, a tunnel that was uh, a access tunnel that went down uh, several hundred meters and then connects into the actual tunnel that the North Koreans built. And then from there, you could actually walk through the tunnel itself. It was uh, too short. Um, it's all just kind of rocky and uh, varying uh, height. And then you can uh, walk through it a couple of hundred meters uh, to the end, the South Korean section. And then you can see through a hole to the North Korean uh, section of that uh, tunnel. So really interesting time for us to uh, get on the bus. And so this was a train station before the war, connecting North and South Korea. Notice here it says to Pyongyang. It was used for one year from 2007 to 2008. So at that time, we also we went to the Gungang Mountain tour. Gungang Mountain is located in the North Korea side. So during the Gungang Mountain tour, one woman was shot by the North Korea soldier. Since then, this area is totally shut down. After that, we just used the national road number one. Just uh, we didn't use any train. So in 2007, they opened up the railroad, right, right. and you, and it was like limited uh, access into North right, Korea. Right, right. You couldn't go to Pyongyang or. Oh no no. Just a little ways. Yeah, right. Before the Korea merged, this train, and then we have a lot of uh, train that went to the uh, capital of the North Korea. Be before the war, before you mean? The war, yeah. So why does it say DMZ train leaving at 427? This one is just a uh, uh, schedule for the tourists from here to Seoul area. It's not goes to North Korea. Oh, you can take a train from here to Seoul? Yeah, here to Seoul. Ah, so right. oh, so it yeah, actually right. is an operation. Yeah. Ah, okay. For I thought it looked so new. <laughs> okay. Following the South-North joint declaration made by the two Koreas on June 15, 2000, both agreed to connect the Gyeonggi railroad line. And so it's saying that this could be the uh, start of the transcontinental railroad all the way across Russia and Asia into Europe there. But North Korea is in the way, so you can't go by train from South Korea across North Korea. And of course, it is a peninsula. And so there's no other way to get to South Korea other than to fly here at this time. And so Kim Jong-un on the left, and then I guess the president of South Korea on the right. Did you like the, the, the tour? It was amazing, yeah, I thought it was really cool. You, you like it, huh? Yeah. And so your name is? Gabriel. Gabriel, another yes, Gabriel. Gabriel. Another Gabriel from Mexico. De Mexico. Yes. And your name? Yvette. 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 Yeah, cool. And we've been talking like a, a bunch on the bus and stuff on the way here. And I didn't catch your name. Hi, I'm Natalia. Natalia. Nice yep. And then I guess it's your sister. My sister Yvette. Yeah. Oh, also Yvette. Yvette. Yes, yes. Yvette and Yvette. Yes. Yeah, cool. And so you were uh, talking about, you wanted to see the JSA. What was, what yes, was the JSA? What was the difference? I want to see the soldiers in front of me. That's where you actually see the soldiers guarding the, the, guarding when they, the when gate they, or whatever, the entrance? Uh, when the Prime Minister and the President, they, they went together. They, yeah. They you, you mean Ki Ki Kim Jong-un and the South Korean President? The president yes. they, they, they met there at the they JSA? Ah, okay. So that's really the symbolic point. About one month ago. It was yeah, famous yeah. Yes, the, fir the first time between any North South Korean yes, it was the leaders. First time they see each other. Yeah. Uh, when you go there, you can see the soldiers facing right to each other. So that would have been cool, but this they this was still die. amazing with the, the tunnel this, and. This are not yet, but the tunnel is good. Yeah, good. that was really cool. I wish I could have gotten that on video. And so, how much longer you have in uh, Seoul after after today? You stay in Seoul a few more days? One day. Oh, only one more day. One day and a half. And, we, we and, then, and then to J Japan? To Japan. Yeah. Then, then China. China. Then China. And then Mexico. And then back. It's a good oh. Asian tour though. Yes. And so you're, this is Yvette also. I, I didn't learn your name before. Yes, Yvette. But I just learned it's the same as your mother. Yes, yes. Yeah, cool. Hello, hi. And having a good trip? Very good, very nice. Very nice to meet you. Yeah.
and uh, which other places you've traveled to. After here, we are going to Japan, Tokyo, Kyoto, Beijing, and Shanghai. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Very you're seeing nice. a, you're seeing a lot in three weeks. Quite a lot. Yeah. Which other places you've all been before, like in Europe? You live in Europe? Yes. Where? Six months, but we went there. Well, we on, vacation. on vacation. Where did you live? In Madrid. In Madrid. Cool. Yes. I've been to Madrid. I like it. It's a nice city. But we went to Greece and Italy. I love Greece. Yeah. And I went with my husband to Iceland. Oh, cool. I was in Iceland a year and a half ago. It's very nice. Yeah. an amazing tour. Flying tomorrow to Jeju Island, Korea. Take it easy.